Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Actually, it's not afternoon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. So glad to have you here for game number two of tonight's doubleheader taking place at the Apprentice School Athletic Center right here in Newport News, Virginia, on the campus of Newport News Shipbuilding. And what do you what do we have here for you tonight for game number two? It will be the men of the Apprentice School taking on the Mustangs of Mid-Atlantic Christian University. Howard McCain here bringing you play-by-play -play action of tonight's game. Dave Davenport is our engineer producer. And what are we going to bring to you tonight? Hopefully, we will be securing our 19th victory of this season. The builders come into tonight's game with an impressive resume. Ladies and gentlemen, they are 18-4. Four and one in conference play. That's the new South Athletic Conference. They are currently on a four-game winning streak. They're undefeated at home this season at 12 and 0. And they come into tonight's contest. Listen at this, ladies and gentlemen. They are ranked number one in the USCAA Division I basketball polls. This team is bad, is what I'm trying to tell you. So they'll be taking on the Mid-Atlantic Christian University, uh, led by their head coach, Charles Sims. Now, Charles Sims is in his second season at the helm. He brings this Mustangs into tonight's contest with an overall record of 6-14. and 14. But, folks, they are 1-8 and eight on the road. So you have a team that is 1-8 and eight on the road taking on a team that is currently undefeated at home. Ladies and gentlemen, something has to give. So for Coach Evan Key, in his fifth season at the helm for the Apprentice School, looking to get his team right back where they were last year, a historic season last year, looking to continue to build on that. And we can see that each and every year that Coach Key has been at the helm of this, of this program. We've seen them improve bit by bit by bit. So this is the team coming into tonight. Folks, they're averaging about 85 and a half points a game. That's a lot of points in basketball. So we are so happy that you could join us. We look forward to uh, you sticking and staying with us all night long. So sit back and relax, and we'll bring you all the action right to you wherever you are. Our officials for tonight's game are Antoine Dawkins, Thomas Sumter, and Garrett Jones. Both teams are at the center logo. We're all ready to tip things off here as the opening tip is taken and controlled by the Mustangs. Talik Totten was the player that had the basketball. Right now with the basketball is Joshua Taylor. He's joined on the floor by Carlos Raven, Noah Richardson Keys, and also Elijah Cox round out the starting five for the visiting Mustangs as they work on offense right now against a sticky man-to-man -man defense of the Builders as that first shot hoisted from three. No good rebound taken by Isaiah Jones. Isaiah Jones is joined on the floor by Donovan Means with the basketball along with Kelby Saunders Jr., Kyrie Smith, and senior Avon Hawkins. Loose ball controlled by the Builders. Skip pass to a wide open Kyrie Smith for three and he drains it. Nice way to start tonight scoring for the Builders as they try to build on this 12-0 home record. And again, securing and holding on to the number one ranking in the country. That is impressive as this move inside shot up. No good for Tyler. Back come the Builders with Means. Means finds Hawkins in the corner, the senior. Unable to hit. Pass goes out of bounds, but it was last touched by the Mustangs, so it'll stay on the offensive end of the floor with the Builders. Builders coming into tonight's contest with Kyrie Smith and Adrian Wall sharing the points per game lead on the team at 14 points. Means his shot from three off the mark. Rebound comes off to Noah Richardson Keys. Now, as far as the players to watch, Keys is the player to watch offensively for the Mustangs, but their player control foul on Keys. So that'll be his first personal foul, and that'll be the team's first. Baseline. 
As you can hear in the background, Coach Evan Key giving instructions to the offense. 18-14 left in the first half. Builders with a three-point lead. Here's Smith. Smith. His three-point shot is the same as money, ladies and gentlemen. Six-point lead now. Six to nothing. Builders on the heels of two opening three-pointers. Builders force a turnover. Fast break opportunity for Donovan Means, and he connects on the offensive end, and that leads to a timeout. Quick timeout. We're only about two minutes and 13 seconds into the contest, and Charles Sims already has to use a timeout here. 30-second timeout. We'll stay here. Builders with an 8 to nothing lead on the heel of two made three-pointers and a fast-break opportunity for two for Donovan Means. So you can kind of already see how the Builders like to play. Usually when Coach Key's team comes out in the first half, it's all about pressure. Pressure offensively. They want to get out and run with the basketball to try to get the defense caught in transition. If you can get the defense in transition, it is really difficult for guys to get to their proper spots on the floor to be able to play defense effectively. So look for the builders every single time, especially off of missed shots. Look for them to run, run, run. Builders applying some mild pressure defensively as Richardson Keys crosses the timeline with the basketball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Cox. Cox, shot clock at 10. Clocks in, Cox inside, off the glass for two. So that early timeout kind of stops the bleeding just a little bit for the Mustangs, allows them to settle things down. Eight to two is the score. Means inside to Kelby Saunders. His shot off the mark. Here's Keys. Keys doesn't have the numbers, but who cares? He takes it to the rim, unable to finish. Back come the builders off of the missed shot. Here's Hawkins. Hawkins misses with the left hand. As you can see, the pace of the game is torrid early on as Keys attacks the basket. Can't get around the much taller Isaiah Jones. Isaiah Jones stands about six foot nine, while Keyes is about six four. Builder still in the man-to-man -man defense. Keyes nearly traveled with the basketball. Cox, his three-pointer, comes off to Hawkins. Hawkins, the senior, presses the issue on offense, and he's successful. His first bucket of the game. And the Builders now have an eight-point eight lead again. They started the game out with an eight-to-nothing lead. They have now matched their largest lead of the contest so far early on. Builders, once again, sticky man-to-man -man defense. Tough shot blocked at the rim by Isaiah Jones. Back come the Builders. Here's Means with the kick out to Smith. Jones goes to work inside, and he is going to be fouled. So, again, you can see the pace that the Builders want to play with. They want to pick up the pace. They want to try to get these guys in transition defense. And we're going to have a stoppage in play, folks. We're going to have a timeout, media timeout, the under-16 media timeout. Builders in control early, 10-2. to two. We're going to step away, and we'll be right back. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit BaypointCU.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. 
I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII. Kyrie Smith is two for two from behind the three-point arc. So, of course, he has six points. Builders now lead by eight prior to that timeout. There was a foul call on the Mustang. So that'll put Isaiah Jones at the line he's going to shoot to. The big man, the six foot nine big man for the Builders. Unable to hit the first. And the second by Isaiah Jones is good. And Jones will hit the bench for a moment while Clifton Good makes his way into the contest. The six foot six junior out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. That is one city I just, I don't know about anybody else, but if you're on the highway and you have to drive through Fredericksburg, get ready to slow down. I don't know what happens, something weird happens with traffic in Fredericksburg, but everything slows down every single time. It is so frustrating. I'm sure you didn't want to hear my troubles. As that shot is missed by Keys, rebound controlled by the Mustang. Here's Keys, left hand, no good. Last touched, I believe, by the Builders, yes. So the basketball will stay on this end with the Mustangs as Xavier Hunter will make his way into the contest. The senior, Aver Avon Hawkins, will have a seat. Have a seat. Avon Hawkins and Clemente Riddick were honored the last time we were here for on senior day. They're the only two lone seniors in the program right now. As Cox works against the defense, able to split the defense. He's fouled, and the basket is going to count. Clifton Good is going to be credited with his first foul of the contest. That'll be his first foul, the team's first. So that'll put Elijah Cox at the free throw line to shoot one with an opportunity to pull his team within six on the scoreboard. Cox nets his third point. Nope, I take that back. That is his fifth point. So Cox has all the scoring so far for the Mustangs in the contest. 11 to five is our score builders lead. Here's Smith looking to add to his six. He doesn't. Weak side rebound comes off to the Mustangs. Jeremiah Riley with the basketball. He's new into the contest. Cox hands it off to Keyes. Shot clock now at 15. Keyes with the baseline pass. Tried to get it to Riley. It was intercepted by the Builders, but the Builders turned it over quickly. Builders back. Fast break opportunity with Means. Means bumped. The putback is going to be waved off. So Donovan Means will go to the line to shoot two as Elijah, Clo Elijah Cox sorry, quickly picks up his second personal foul. That's the team's third. So we'll see if Sims bring someone off the bench for Cox. So Donovan Means will step to the line to shoot two. Builders shooting about 62% on the season as a team from the free throw line. That has improved. Remember, they started the season, uh, they hovered around like 60%, but they've since gotten a little bit better as the season is going on as Seth Adams will make his way into the contest along with Luke Garrett. So that'll allow Elijah Cox to have a seat with those two fouls. Cox has all the points for the Mustangs early on as that second one is missed. And I believe Kelby Saunders may have stepped on the baseline so the basketball will go over to the Mustangs. Builders again with some mild backcourt pressure. Officials are going to stop the clock, I believe. The Nope. The shot clock never started. So they're going to reset, I believe, it to, tw okay, 27. I thought he said 22. Here's Riley. Nice shot on the baseline. Left-handed runner, and I take that back. That was a right-handed runner by Joshua Tyler. 
Those are his first points of the game. He's averaging, I think, somewhere around about 18 points a game. He's the second leading scorer for the Mustangs. Basketball is going to stay on this end. Here's Means inside. Good. Nice move by Good. Spin move by Good led to just an easy right-handed layup. So the Builders have extended their lead back to six, 13 to seven. Over the Mustangs is Elijah Cox. Oh, you know what? I thought Elijah Cox went off the floor. He didn't. Oh, yes, he did. I'm sorry. Misread on the uniform. That's actually Joshua Tyler. Again, told you Joshua Tyler is the second leading scorer on the team with 18 points a game. And he's cut the builder lead to four as Good goes back to work that time. That left, that right-hander missed the whole basket. So number 10, Courage Harrell sees his first action of the contest for the Builders. Kelby Saunders Jr. is going to take a seat. As Joshua Tyler handles the basketball. The Mustangs leading scorer, Noah Richardson Keys, is on the bench right now. He, he averages about 21 points a game. Builders nearly with a steal. But nice job of recovering and hitting the shot is Carlos Raven, his first two of the basketball game. And just like that, the Builders' eight-point lead is now down to two, 13 to 11. Builders work the perimeter. Man-to-man -man defense by the Mustangs. Here's Kyrie, who already has two from long range. Ladies and gentlemen, add to it, make it three. Kyrie Smith's third three-point make of the first half, and he has nine. So 16 to 11 now is our score. You love the pace of this basketball game. A lot of energy by both teams as Kyrie Smith with the interception. Smith on the break, splits the double team. Long skip pass. To Xavier Hunter for three, and he hits. Builders are lighting it up from behind the arc, and they've just seen their two, their lead be dwindled down to two, and they've quickly gotten it back up to eight, 19 to 11, around 11 and a half minutes left in the first half. Mustangs thought they made a travel right there with the basketball, no call. As Charles Sims, their head coach, tells them to settle. Here's Raven with three, has to hoist it. Caught the front of the iron, no good. Loose ball foul, that'll be on the Mustangs. That foul call is going to go on Carlos, Carlos Raven. That'll be his first personal foul. The team's for, fourth, and we're going to have a timeout. Media timeout, 11-15 remaining in the first half. Builders with a... USCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's not like the playing field for everybody. remaining in the first half here. So glad you could join us. Welcome to the Apprentice School Athletic Center, again located at the Apprentice School on the campus of Newport News Shipbuilding here in Newport News, Virginia. Howard McCain, Dave Davenport here. Xavier Hunter with the basketball, Builders with an eight-point lead. Builders right now are four for six. From three, that's about 67% early in the basketball game is Courage Harrell. 
test the baseline with the jumper. His shot no good. Rebound fought for underneath with Clifton Good. And Drashawn Brown, the possession arrow, is in favor of the builder, so the basketball will stay on this end. Here's Harrell. Harrell. Patient with the basketball, just could not finish at the rim. So back come the Mustangs on offense as the right-handed runner, no good by Brown. So Donovan Means put pressure on the Mustangs with the basketball offensively until Clifton Good able to finish right in front of the basket with the short little, uh, what, two-inch jumper. So the build a lead is now up to 10. As we see Richardson Keys makes his way back onto the floor for the Mustangs, unable to hit on that shot. He's scoreless right now. Again, he's averaging 21 points a game as Kyrie Smith launches. That three, no good. He's now two for three from three-point land. Terrible entry pass that time by Donovan Means leads to a turnover for the Builders. That's the Builders' third turnover of the contest so far. As Montreal Jackson makes his way into the ball game for the Builders, Coach Sims counters with Jeffrey Wellens, the six, the six foot 11 junior from Hampton. Beyond a shadow of doubt, the biggest player on the floor, number 50. Here's Richardson Keys. Keys able to get his first two of the basketball game. And that cuts into the builder lead, makes it now eight. Hunter loses it. Leads to a fast break opportunity for the Mustangs, and they convert on the offensive end. And that's Talik Totten, the senior, with his first points of the basketball game. And just like that, the builder lead now is trimmed to six. Hunter. Harrell. Harrell. Little hesitant there, but he was able to gather his feet and shoot the basketball in rhythm and drain the three. The builders are shooting fantastically from behind the uh, arc. And their lead now is back up to nine. As that shot blocked by Clifton Good. Good. Able to come away with the weak, I'm sorry, with the loose ball off of the rebound. Builders continue to put pressure on this Mustang defense with their pace, with their energy, with their switching. Here's Harrell, wide open for three. And he makes the Mustangs pay. Mustangs unable to rotate out on defense to put a hand in the face of Courage Harrell. So the builder lead is now up to 12. Keys, nice job of splitting the defense. He gets to the rack. That's his second bucket of the basketball game. He now has four. Builder lead, cut to 10. Hunter. Builders continue to work the perimeter. Here's Kyrie Smith. Courage already has two three-point shots, and he loses this one on his way to the basket, so it goes over to the Mustangs. And we're going to have a timeout. We're going to have wholesale changes in both lineups when we come out of this timeout. This is the media timeout, the under eight minute timeout. 7.31 remaining in the first half of action. Builders with a 10 point lead. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit BaysportCU.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. 
The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. If you're just joining us and you missed the first game of tonight's doubleheader between the Apprentice School uh, women and the Lady Gators of Virginia Peninsula Community College, you missed a treat. Jada Ellaby had a night tonight. Lady Builders won that game 72 to 49, but Jada Ellaby was the, the story of the game, folks. She had a double-double, 14 points, 18 rebounds, and five blocks on the night. That is just so impressive. So congratulations to the Lady Builders and Jada Ellaby for just an amazing night on the basketball court. But as we come back to action here, three-point shot goes down for Carlos Raven, and the Builder lead now down to seven. As Courage Harrell turns it over. Keys, tags the basket, Lay up good with the right hand, and just like that, the builder lead has been trimmed down to set to five. Builders were up by 12 not too long ago. So Evan Keyes, Coach Evan Keyes, is now countered with most of his starters coming back on the floor as that launch from three, no good. Keyes with the kick out to Raven. Raven finds the big man underneath Wellens. Wellens. Gets his first two easy basket. And now the builder lead has been trimmed to 20 from tw to 27-24. Builder lead now down to three. Hawkins off of a screen. Here's Hawkins again from the corner. His three-point shot. Hit the play clock. The uh yeah, hit the uh the game clock, so that's out of bounds. So the basketball goes back over to MACU. That's Mid-Atlantic Christian University. Kelby Saunders makes his way back in for the Builders. We're now under six remaining in the first half. Builder lead has been trimmed to three. Builders still in that man-to-man -man defense. Raven launched the ill-advised shot, but the Builders weren't able to control the loose ball, so it was last touched by Isaiah Jones. So the Mustangs will have another opportunity here on the offensive end to either pull in one or tie it with a three. And they do just that. God dog it, I hate when I'm being Nostradamus on some of these broadcasts. You can see that three coming from Talik Totten. He drains it, and we're tied. Means with the wraparound. Inside to Jones. Jones able to bank it in for two. So is it possible, folks, that we are going to have ourselves a basketball game here tonight? This pace is incredible as Keys draws the foul. That foul call is going to go on Avon Hawkins. That is Avon Hawkins' first personal foul of the team second. Again, Avon Hawkins. Honored here the other night on senior night. The senior guard out of Hampton will pick up his first personal foul. That'll put Noah Richardson Keys at the free throw line. Again, averaging about 21 points a game, eight rebounds, four steals on the season. So Kyrie Smith will make his way back in as Montreal Jackson will have a seat. The Mustangs shooting about 74% from the line. That's As a team, that's not that bad, to be honest with you. As both free throws go down, we are back to being tied again, 29 to 29. Feed inside to Isaiah Jones. Jones is fouled. Jeffrey Wellens. The 6'11 junior inside for the Mustangs is going to be whistled with his first personal foul. That's the team's fifth. Builders need a couple of more fouls, team fouls committed by the Mustangs to be in the bonus. 
They're not there yet. Only five team fouls. Smith loses it. And it was going to be last touch by the Mustangs, so the basketball is going to stay on this end. The shot clock will not reset, so it'll stay at 14. Smith, Smith looking for his third make from three. He won't get it. And the builders are going to be whistled for a loose ball foul. That loose ball foul is going to be credited to Kelby Saunders Jr., his first personal foul, and the team's third. So right now, Avon Hawkins, Kelby Saunders Jr., and Clifton Good each have a foul apiece for the builders. That's it. Long skip pass to Keys. Keys attacks, but unable to convert, but he's going to draw the foul. They're going to stick Isaiah Jones with his first personal foul. That'll be the team's fourth. So, of course, Noah Richardson Keys fouled in the act of shooting, so he will step to the line to shoot two. Clock stopped at 440. And this gives the Mustangs an opportunity to take their first lead of the contest, and they have. So the comeback is complete after being down by 12. The Mustangs stayed the course and now have overtaken the builders here at home by one in the first half. Second to two by Keys, no good. Motion, motion, motion. Builders slowing things down a little bit. Nice feed. Fortunately for the Mustangs, somebody got a hand on that and then when I bounce, wait a minute. They're saying the builders lost it out of bounds. I don't know about anybody else, but from my vantage point, that did not look like it was last touched by the builders. But I am not Antoine Dawkins, Thomas Sumter, or Garrett Jones. Those are the officials. Keys, who started to heat up in the basketball game, his shot blocked. Builders running. Feed inside to Jones. Jones bump, fouled, count the basket at the harm. Nice job by Isaiah Jones of body control because he was hit pretty hard. So the basket will count. That call will go on Noah Richardson Keys. That will be his second personal foul and the team sixth. But first, we're going to have a timeout. The under four minute media timeout. This will be the last timeout of the first half media wise. We'll step away, builders by one. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit bayportcu.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. We're back. A very animated Coach Evan Key during that media timeout, really, really laying into his guys. Unfortunately, I could not hear exactly what was being said, but I could tell by the, the, the tone and of, of it, the, 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 the tone and the volume of his voice man he was not happy about something so we'll see whatever he um told his team to do we'll see if they'll be able to do that for the next three minutes and 57 seconds as the builders find themselves up by one I, J, isaiah jones unable to complete the three-point play with the missed free throw so the score remains 31 30. memes on the defense 
Here's Cox back on the floor. Remember, he picked up two early fouls, had to take a seat. Long outlet picked off. Mustang starting to pick up the energy a little bit more on offense as they begun to settle into the game. Definitely can see this team's confidence starting to rise. They come in with a 6-14 and 14 record, and right now they're not playing like that as Keys. Launches from the corner, hits the three. Mustangs take the lead. Still plenty of time remaining in the first half. We're just now under three. Donovan Means off of a screen. Here's Smith. Smith was ice cold from three, but not anymore. His third three-point shot made. And that gives the Builders the lead right back, 34-33. This one has been nip and tuck since about the midway point of the first half, and we're going to get a foul off of the loose ball. And we're going to get a tech. We're going to get a foul. That foul is going to be on Joshua Taylor, which is going to be his first personal foul. But Joshua Taylor is also going to be slapped with a technical foul. Why? As the, both, both players were, un, I guess, unraveling from each other, I don't know what happened or what was said, but Taylor, Tyler didn't like something that Donovan Means either said or did, so he hit Donovan Means in the head with the basketball right in front of the official. So that is going to be a technical. So the technical foul will be on Joshua Tyler. So that will go down as a personal. So he now has two personal fouls, and that's going to allow the builders to shoot a one-and-one -one on the technical I'm sorry, two shots on the technical and the basketball. So Builders with an opportunity for a four or five point trip down the floor depending on what happens after this free throw and what they do offensively. So Kyrie Smith does exactly what he's supposed to do on technicals. He hits them both. So again, the Builders with an opportunity to have a four point or a five point trip down the floor You know what? Never mind. Donovan Means will go to the line. He'll shoot the one and one because the Mustangs are in the bonus. They have 18 fouls. Sorry, I wasn't tracking that. So the Builders will get an opportunity to shoot four free throws. And so, so far, they've made three of four. So the most they can earn off of the make free throw, of course, is going to be four-point trip down the floor. Donovan Mees <laughs> got the second one to go. So Malik Munderland will make his way into the basketball game for the first time tonight for the Builders. One of the seldom used reserves for Coach Evan Key. Long skip passes by the Mustangs. As the basketball now sits with Raven, he feeds inside to Cox, who's unable to hit, but he's gonna be fouled. That foul is gonna go on Malik Munderlin, who just checked into the basketball game. So he's gonna pick up his first personal foul. That'll be the team's fifth. Elijah Cox was fouled in the act of shooting, so he'll step to the line to shoot two. Clock stopped, 214 Builders with a five-point lead. Noah Cox, the six-foot-five freshman. He's also out of the state of Virginia. <laughs> Dave, did you see Did you see Cox after the May free throw? He was actually reaching over to get dap from somebody uh, in the lane, but none of his guys are in the lane. <laughs> none of his guys are in the lane. <laughs> Oh, my God, that was funny. I'm sorry. You had to be here. It's all about routine. I, yeah, yeah. Monerlin to, to Saunders. His high arc and jumper comes off to Cox. No good. We're now under two remaining in the first half, and the builder lead is down to three. Here's Raven. Raven. 
Tyler, who's pretty much been held in check offensively, considering the fact that he averages 18 points a game. That pass poked out of bounds by the Builders. So it will stay with the Mustangs. Nine seconds left on this shot clock as Coach Charles Sims makes a quick substitution. Drayshawn Brown, the six-foot-one sophomore out of Greensboro, North Carolina, will enter the contest. Here's Tyler. He only has four. Shot goes off the back of the iron high. Comes down to the Builders, but Builders have their outlet pass knocked out of bounds, and I believe there it is. We're going to have a timeout. Timeout taken by head coach Evan Key. I want to believe that's going to be a 30-second timeout. They never did indicate what that was. Was it a 30? Okay, it's going to be a 30-second timeout. 38-35, Builders lead, 126 left in the first half. So coming into this afternoon's, I keep saying this afternoon, coming into tonight's basketball game for the Mustangs, their leading scorer is Nora Richardson Keys. Now Keys right now has, well Keys, I, I can't see his point total. Keys currently has, I'm looking, he has nine points. So he comes into this contest averaging about 21. So right now he's off of his scoring pace. More importantly, Joshua Tyler, who pretty much is his um, wingman in scoring, he averages 18. He only has four. So defensively, the Builders have done a great job with their shooters to kind of keep them at bay. But the Builders still got work to do as they're only sitting on a three-point lead as we get closer to the halftime break. Nice inside move right there by Malik Munderland. And the builder lead is back up to five as we take down to around a minute remaining in the first half. We're now under a minute. Here's Raven with a kick to Tyler. Builders steal. Outlet to Donovan Means. Mishandled, but Monerlin was there to pick it up. It was tripped. They're going to say it was last touched by the, by the visitors, so it'll stay on this end. Monerlin inbound to Means. Means kick to Hunter. Nice ball movement by the builders. To lull the defense to sleep, easy, in, easy inlet pass goes to Kyrie Smith, and he's able to finish with a high percentage shot at the rim. 42, 35, 24 seconds left in the first half. As Raven takes a quick look at the game clock and the play clock, or the shot clock rather, before he makes his move. Step back, three, off the mark. Rebound tracked down by the Mustangs, who can hold for the last shot. Basketball goes out of bounds, so it'll stay on this end. 4.6 left in the first half. Wait a minute. I missed, I missed something. It went off of Matt Q. The Builders are actually uh, three points off of their half totals from last game. Okay. Man, whatever happened over there, I, I, I kind of got blocked. I didn't see. But the game clock down to two, less than one. I believe that is good if it goes, and it does not. As Xavier Hunter's three-point attempt is no good, and that is how the first half of action will end here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center. Game number two of tonight's doubleheader. Right now, Builders take a halftime lead, 42-35 into the halftime locker room. Coach Evan Key and Coach Charles Sims will get their team together and see what their strategy will be for the second half. So we will step away. We'll allow you to step away, but we will be back with second half action and first half stats. Don't go anywhere.
The thing that sets Whirlies apart is that our people here truly care. They're here because they love their jobs and they want to learn more. What I like about Whirlies is the people. Uh, the team I work with every day. My favorite thing about working at Whirlies is that it's more like a family. I mean, it is work, but it's not. They actually treat me like a person and not a number. And this is the first company where I really feel like I belong. Here at Whirlies, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, they really care about the customers, really care about the employees. Uh, we do whatever we got to do to make the job right. I like the team. Everybody's a team player. Um, all about doing the right thing for the customer, taking pride in your work. It's just overall a great company to work for. You know, we really do have an awesome set of guys. It's kind of cool. We got a great team. We have fun together. From my plumbers to my air conditioning guys to my crawl space guys, everybody like works together as a team. Um, they're just phenomenal. We have training programs. We like it when people come in, they don't really know what they want to do, and we're able to help them find a trade and do things such as like a paid for apprenticeship programs for HVAC, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we've sent people as far as Texas to also doing them here locally. We just truly like to see our people grow and succeed and get to the next step of their career. We want people here who truly aspire to be the best in their, in their fields.
We're about close to wrapping up halftime here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center. Both teams have made their way back out onto the court for halftime warm up. So uh, we got a little bit under two minutes left. So while we do that, let's take a look at some of the first half stats. Of course, Builders holding a 42 to 35 lead over the visiting Mustangs of Mid-Atlantic Christian. Never heard of Mid-Atlantic Christian. They're actually located in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, which is not only, it's really not that far away from here. It's about 57 miles south of where we are broadcasting this game. Uh, as far as their scoring goes, of course, Noah Richardson Keys is their leading scorer. He has 12 points. Uh, he also uh, was able to rip down five rebounds. His scoring mate, Joshua Tyler, again, held to just four points. So maybe he'll light up in the second half. Who knows? But right now he has four points, and he uh, has no rebounds. They've committed seven turnovers as a team. They got up 34 shots, which is more shots than the uh, builders were able to get up in the first half, but they only converted 13. That's 38%. They were 38% from the three-point stripe, three for eight, and they were six of seven from the free throw line. That's 85%. For the builders, Kyrie Smith is the leading scorer right now, folks. He has 16 points. The majority of those came from behind the three-point arc. He was four of five from behind the three-point arc. He also, oh, I take that back, Kelby Saunders Jr. pulled down five rebounds in the first half. Builders themselves turned the ball over eight times, got up 28 shots, hit 15. That's 54%. It's not bad. Uh, free throws, they were 7 of 12. I told you they shoot about 62%, so they're below their average right now. And they were 5 of 9 from behind the arc. That's 56%. So that's pretty got doggone good. So hopefully they'll be able to keep that, uh, that, that stat moving in the positive direction as we move forward. Builders led by as many as 12 in the first half, while the Mustangs led by as many as two. Seven-point game. As we get ready to start things off, the Mustangs will get us started with the first possession of the second half. And we're underway. Carlos Raven, along with Joshua Tyler. So the starting five for the Mustangs are back on the floor. Builders make a slight change to their starting lineup for the second half is Adrian Wall. First time we've seen Adrian Wall all night. Again, Adrian Wall shares the team lead per game in points at 14 apiece with Kyrie Smith. We've seen Kyrie Smith. He's put up 16, but this is our first time seeing Adrian Wall. So good to see Adrian on the floor as the Mustangs start the second half of scoring with their first two of the contest of the second half. So 42-35, Builder lead now at five. Means working off of a, looks like a man-to-man -man defense by the Mustangs. Smith. Wall, Wall. His runner with the left hand, no good. But two Mustangs tried to bring down the rebound and they knocked the basketball from each other. So we'll stay on this end. Shot clock reset to 20. Fee goes inside to Saunders. Kick out to Means. Means. Kind of got up in the air, and he was indecisive about what he wanted to do with the basketball. If you saw his head, he thought about passing it, but then he shot it, and it was an air ball. Builders tried to corral it. And as Isaiah Jones ended up committing a foul. So that'll be his second. And, of course, that'll be the team's first of the second half. As Cox, who sat the majority of the first half after picking up two fouls, is back out there as Raven. His shot no good. Isaiah Jones nearly, <laughs> nearly carried with the basketball, he wanted to pass it, and the passing lane disappeared, so he tried to go back and dribble it again and nearly turn it over. Feed inside to Jones. Jones works against Cox. Shot no good. Long outlet from Keys to Raven is good. 
And the first four points of the second half go to the Mustangs. 42-39 now. Field to lead is three. As Donovan means, say, you know what? <laughs> Long three-point shot from the top of the key goes down for Donovan Means. And for Means, that is his seventh point of the contest. Builders have been extremely successful against Mid-Atlantic. Christian University here on the hardwood. 20 and two overall as the turnover created by the Builders long outlet to Kelby Saunders off the glass for two. So the Builders quickly now have come out and outscored the Mustangs five to four out of the halftime locker room. But again, Builders with sustain, sustained success against this program on the hardwood is that three-point shot missed. But a foul is going to be administered to Isaiah Jones. That'll be his third personal foul. That'll be the team's second. So what that's going to do is that's going to put Elijah Cox at the free throw line, the six-foot-five uh, freshman. He'll be shooting three. First of three is good. Again, historically, builders are 20 and two against the Mustangs. Right now, the builders are enjoying an eight game winning streak against the program as the second of two goes down for Elijah Cox. Clifton Good makes his way into the contest for the builders. Mustangs with an opportunity to trim the builder lead to five off of this made free throw by Cox, and they do. So again, as a team, they shoot about 74%. 100% on that last trip down the floor from the free throw line as Means presses the, the, the action and is able to get an easy layup right at the front of the rim. And the Builders have pushed their lead back up to seven. Cox trying to create some separation between himself and Good. Then gives it off to Keys. Keys hits one of the hardest jumpers in all of basketball. That is the baseline jumper. So Keys now with 14 as that long launch from three by Means is no good. Adrian Wall saves it but goes about six rows up into the bleachers. Just like that, the Mustangs turn it over. So for a second, the Mustang had the numbers because Adrian Wall saved the basketball from going out of bounds and to save himself, he had to run all the way up to the bleachers. That created a five on four break for the Mustangs, but the Mustangs stepped out of bounds. Means gets it inside to Clifton Good. His right hand layup off the glass is good for two. So the builders come out in the second half on defense in a man-to-man -man defense as Cox. Raises up for three, nothing doing. Go, go, go. Builders looking to add to their seven-point lead. Here's Good, who's been darn near unstoppable inside. Ball tipped around off of the miss. They're going to say the builder stepped out of bounds. And we're going to get a timeout. The first media timeout of second half, the under-16 media timeout, 15-24 remaining. In the second half of this basketball game, Builders with a seven-point lead, 51-44. Let's step away. I will be right back. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. 
That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit BaportCU.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom, and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII. 15-24 left in tonight's basketball game, and a um, amazing piece of uh, information just passed along to us uh, about Kyrie Smith. Kyrie Smith currently is sitting at 994 points in his career. So what does that mean? He is six points away from 1,000. So we will definitely be monitoring that for the remainder of the contest, and we will definitely have our fingers crossed that he gets opportunity to uh, score those six points. And he was a transfer, so that's his whole career, college career, not just here. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. So we definitely want that for Kyrie, trust me. He has, he has been a, 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 an amazing ambassador uh, for, this, uh, for this program, and to see him be that successful in his career, you, you, you can't help but applaud that. Because believe it or not, folks, playing basketball is hard. Outlet to Adrian Wall. His shot goes down for three. I thought that was popping out. <laughs> Man, he needed that because he's been on the bench the entire first half of the game and to come out and hit that shot to see a shot goes in, go in, really will help his confidence as the game continues to go, go forward. That whole ball was below the rim, and I still thought it was going to pop out. Yeah, you know, if you ever watch him shoot the basketball, the trajectory on his shot just stays low. That foul is going to be on Clifton Good. That's his second. But he he has a, a bit of a – it's not really an unusual release, but it's usually a pretty flat release. So I don't know if he just has that confidence on this shot that he doesn't have to get a lot of air on it. But you're right, sometimes the trajectory of his shot looks like it's going to be short. So that'll put Elijah Clock, uh, Elijah Cox back at the line. Remember the last time he was there, he hit three in a row, and he just hit that one. So right now he is uh he's a thousand percent from the free throw line. He's four for four. Didn't Wendy's used to have one of those, a four for four? As the second yeah, they did. goes down. It's now the five for biggie bag or something. Yeah, like I think that. and I think they all oh, I think it's the well. It, would that be so? Would that be considered the five for five? No, it's still only four things. It's just you know inflation. That stinks, man. We hate inflation. We really hate inflation, and we hate higher interest rates too. All right, so back to basketball. As Adrian Walt, there's another one. Adrian Wall hits his second three-point shot of the basketball game, and just like that, he is what now. He's the second leading scorer on the floor. And he's only taking three shots. <laughs> but when I'm telling you, when he is feeling it, I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. That's Joshua Taylor. Joshua Taylor now with eight. Remember, he went into the halftime locker room with four. He averages 18. So God knows we don't want that guy heating up. Wall off of the screen from Jones. Wall, step back three, off the mark. Means, inside, the good. Boy, we have seen some pinpoint accuracy on some of these in this interior passing for the builders. Nice job by Means to just keep his eyes up and find the open Clifton good. Here's Keys. Keys with the left hand. He's fouled. Had that gone, that would have been a three-point opportunity, but instead it's going to be two free throws as, Don, as as Adrian Wall picks up his first personal foul. That's going to be the team's fourth. 
So that'll put Noah Richardson, Keys, at the free throw line. He'll be shooting two. He's sitting on 14 points, and for the time being, that's exactly where he's going to stay. We picked up four quick fouls. And they haven't, they haven't harmed us once yet. Now we're getting real close to being halfway through the second half of the contest as Keys knocks down his second. And the lead is trimmed down now to 10, 59 to 49. Means. Means was fouled. Means aggressive with his uh, intent of getting to the uh, getting to the basket. Now Means goes six foot three, and he was guarded by Seth Adams, who was six foot. So Means trying to use his size advantage to his advantage to get to the rack force Adams into the foul and means able to uh, convert. Drayshawn Brown is going to check back into the ball game for Charles Smith. I'm sorry, Charles Sims and the Mustangs at the 13.02 mark. Means one of two. Elijah Cox with the basketball. Keys being guarded by Mitchell. I'm sorry, Means, 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 Means. Keys. Tyler with the basketball. He has eight points. He throws him a three and hits the freaking bottom of the net. We do not need him to heat up. He's now getting closer and closer to his average per game, 18. He now has 11, and that trims the builder lead now to eight. Good was in trouble, lost it, but builder's able to track it down before it went across half court. And I believe we're gonna have a foul call is that an offensive? I think, it, was that a? Okay, so Seth Adams, I'm sorry folks, I'm kind of screened away from some of the action uh, in the left corner, and I couldn't see it, but it looks like Seth Adams uh, actually hit Xavier Hunter in the act of shooting, so that'll put Xavier Hunter at the free throw line to shoot two. That is uh, their first team foul of the second half. And that'll be the second foul on Seth Adams. Xavier Hunter misses the, the second. So the builder lead now at 11, 60, nope, nine, I'm sorry, 61, 52. It's Cox tries to size up good. Didn't like what he had. Nice spin move. I know he's the enemy, but you got to give credit where credit is due. Beautiful, smooth spin move that time inside by Keys and off the glass for two. Keys now with 17 as Keys on the break. Working against Donovan Means. He's once again another spin move, but Means gets him across the arm. So Donovan Means will pick up his first personal foul. That'll be the team's fifth, and we're going to get a timeout. That is a media timeout. That is the under 12 timeout. 11.27 left, Builders lead. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit bayportcu.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. 
Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. I'm looking at some of the, a lot of the numbers from this uh, basketball game and a lot of them are very, very similar. You know, the number of turnovers in the basketball game, the number of rebounds in the game, uh, the number of shots in the game, how many times each team has gone to the free throw line, they're all within very, very small margins of each other. But the only difference that has separated this game has been three-point shooting where the builders have been that much more effective from the line as Keys hits the first free throw. Builders right now in the game, they're shooting 59%, while the Mustangs are shooting 40. But they've only hoisted up 10, while the builders have hoisted up 17 in the contest. So builders are shooting threes, but they're hitting them at a much, much higher percentage. And right now, that is the difference in the ball game as the builders are holding to a five-point lead. That three off the mark for Avon Hawkins. Here's Keyes. Tyler forces the action, and he is going to be fouled. Now, I know Kelby Saunders is upset about that, but Kelby did get him on the hand. So for Kelby Saunders, that is going to be his second personal foul. That'll be the team's six. So the Builders are one foul away from putting the Mustangs in the bonus. So what does that mean? That means that if, if we foul them one more time, let's say within the next minute, as Tyler hits the first of two, let's say we foul them for the next minute. They will be going to the free throw line for the last 10 minutes of the basketball game. If you're behind, that is huge. Also makes for a long game. It does make for a long game, and so do these media timeouts. But we won't talk about those on the air. Both free throws made. You got to pay the bills. <laughs> Builder lead now down to three. Here's Saunders. Saunders wide open. Jumper. Good. So the builder lead now is back up to five. Tyler with the basketball. Tyler right now with 13 in the contest. Finds Cox. Cox going against Good. Forces it, but misses. Wall with the outlet to Hunter. Nice job on the feed from Saunders onto Adrian Wall as the cutter. Wall unable to get the bucket to go down, but he's going to be fouled. Well, that foul call is going to go on Elijah Cox. That is his third personal foul. That is only the team's third of the half. But nonetheless, Adrian Wall will step to the line to shoot two. Adrian Wall again averaging 14 points a game. He now has seven as the Mustangs counter with Carlos Raven along with Jeffrey Wellens. Builder lead now at six, make it seven. So for Adrian Wall, that is his eighth point of the contest. He's hit a couple of three-point shots along with two free throws for his scoring night so far. As the Builders again stay in that man-to-man -man defense, Saunders being really aggressive on defense, partially blocked that shot. A lot of action underneath the basket. Officials just allowing them to play. Right now, the personal foul, I think that one may have caught the tip part of the rim. I'm not sure. I thought that might have been a, a play clock violation, but a shot clock violation, but they're going to let him play on. Xavier Hunter turns it over. Fee inside. Bump by Clifton Good, and Good is going to be whistled for the foul. So for Clifton Good, that is his third personal foul, and that now puts the Mustangs in the bonus with 9.40 left in the contest, and them trailing 
as the first free throw goes down. So if you are not a basketball aficionado, as a coach who is trailing, you have strategy-wise exactly what you want. So we have a timeout. We'll talk about that on the other side of the media timeout. 940 left, Builders lead by six. We'll be back. The USC NCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's leveling the playing field for everybody. everyone now prior to the media timeout I was explaining to you strategically why it is huge that the Mustangs are able to get themselves into the bonus and also into the double bonus so there's nine minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this basketball game and the and the Mustangs trail by six right now pending what happens with this free throw upcoming from uh, Dreshawn Brown and he makes it so they're now down by five if you're trailing, you need to get as many scores as you possibly can with the clock stopped. So if you're able to if you're able to draw fouls on the team that's leading, you get a chance to go to the free throw line and try to score points while the clock is stopped. Because of course when you're trailing, your biggest enemy isn't the scoreboard, your enemy is the game clock. So if you're coach Sims, you are tickled pink right now that your team is already in the bonus this early in the second half. So that does change somewhat how the builders will be playing defense as they try to hold to this five point lead. That long three point shot is good for Tyler and just like that, the Mustangs are only down by two, 65, 63. Wall works. With the right hand off the glass for two. Just like that, Andrew Wall has 10 in the basketball game after sitting out the entire first half of this contest. Oh, tough shot right there by Adams. Adrian Wall working off of a screen from Jones. And there's your wall that's heating up. Boy, oh boy, you don't want that if you're Coach Charles Sims for the Mustangs. Because Adrian Wall, when he heats it up, he can fill it up in a heartbeat. And he already has 12. Wellens misses, gets his own rebound. Unable to convert on the putback. Here's Wall. Who scored the last five points down the court? He is fouled, ladies and gentlemen, and the basket does count. So Adrian Wall now with 14 and the foul. But what's going to happen is he will shoot a free throw, but that will not happen until another media timeout. The under eight media timeout, 749 left builders lead, 71-63. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit BaysportCU.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. 
Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. I mentioned prior or around the beginning of the contest that the two leading scorers for the Builders are Kyrie Smith and Adrian Wall. They both come in averaging about 14 points a game. Well, so far, what does that look like? Kyrie Smith has 16. Adrian Wall has 14. So two of the bigger offensive weapons for the Builders are doing exactly what they do for the number one team in USCAA Division I basketball, the Apprentice School Builders. Wall unable to hit his 15th point, but don't worry, Adrian, you're gonna get you're gonna get more opportunity, sir. Barring injury, you'll you'll get them. Keys off of, off of the ball screen from Cox. Keys once again his three, man. It's such a beautiful thing when a basketball player catches a pass and shoots in rhythm. There was no jerking action at all when Keyes got that pass and he stepped into his jumper. And just like that, an eight-point lead has been reduced down to five. Wall. Already with 14 in the half. Wall, aggressive. Gets to the rack, unable to finish. Here's Keyes. Keyes right now. Keyes loses it out of bounds. Claims that a builder touched it but the officials do not concur. So Keyes right now, Keyes has, Keyes has 22. So Keyes has already hit his scoring average in the contest with that three-point jumper. Hunter thought about going inside, but instead gets it off to Wall and Wall Shoots an air ball. Carlos Raven will make his way back in for the Mustangs right now, who are trailing by five. Donovan Means and Kelby Saunders Jr. onto the floor for the Builders. Kelby Saunders, definitely one of the uh, better defensive players for the Builders. Donovan Means, more of a distributor, really helps the Builders get the, ball, the basketball moving on fast breaks. He's a freshman. Raven. And I think they're going to call an offensive foul. Oh, they're going to call a screen, an illegal screen on, on uh, Richardson Keys. So for Richardson Keys, that's his third personal foul for the Mustangs. So the basketball is going to go over to the Builders with 6-17 remaining and the Mustangs trailing by two possessions. Here's Means working against Raven. Means off of a ball screen, has the basketball slapped away by Raven. Good defense by Carlos Raven, even though he got beat on the play, was able to slap the basketball out of Donovan Means' hands as he was making his way through the defense, and they're gonna call a jump ball, and the basketball is gonna go in the opposite direction. The basketball will go over to the Builders. 5.50 left in the contest, Builders still holding to a five-point lead. It's been a very entertaining basketball game, man. I'm telling you, this one right here, you didn't want to look away from this one because right when it looked like the Builders were going to put some space, some real space between themselves and the Mustangs, the Mustangs battle back. Nice job of scoring off the dribble by Kyrie Smith. Kyrie Smith now has 18 tonight. Here's Tyler. That three-point jumper off the back of the iron, but he's able to secure his own rebound. Baseline jumper no good. Here's Wall. Wall. 
Builders not in a huge hurry. They have the lead. And that inside feed to Isaiah Jones off the glass is good for two, and we're going to get a timeout. Timeout taken by the Mustangs by Coach Charles Sims. He sees his team now go from being down by five to now being down by nine, so he's going to take a timeout, full timeout. Five minutes left. Builders lead by nine. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit BaytportCU.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Builders with a nine-point lead here in the second half of game number two of tonight's doubleheader. The Lady Builders already took care of business against VPCC. That's the Virginia Peninsula Community College. They took that one home easily tonight over the Lady Gators. Lady Builders took lead in the game and never, ever, 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 never, ever looked back after that. So we're trying to see if the men can make it 2-4-2. Two, two. So the basketball is going to stay on this end. As the Builders do their own mop-up duty? <laughs> That is dedication to the sport, ladies and gentlemen. Never do some, never send somebody else to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. Lady Builders again won game number one of tonight's doubleheader by a score of 72 to 49. As again, the toughest shot in basketball goes down for Tyler. So Tyler now has 18. Averaging 18 points a game. Means, tough shot. Shot clock does not reset. Shot clock is now at 10. Here's Means from three. Means three-point shot comes off. Loose ball taken in by Tyler. Joshua Tyler with the basketball. Has his shot blocked by Kelby Saunders. Fast break opportunity for the Builders, but they turn the basketball over. So it'll go back down to the other end of the floor as Clifton Good makes his way into the contest. And we're going to take a timeout. Another timeout. This is a media timeout. This is the last, I promise everybody, this is the last media timeout of the night. 3 4 56 remaining Builders with a seven-point lead. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit BaytportCU.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. 
lot of scoring all over the floor tonight for both teams. Noah Richardson Keys, 22. Joshua Tyler with 18. Elijah Cox with 12. Kyrie with 18. Donovan Means with 10. Adrian Wall with 14. Man, just a lot of people filling it up tonight for both teams. The basketball game hasn't quite yet been decided. Only a seven-point advantage for the men, making a five-point advantage right now for the builders as Keyes is able to add to his point total. He now has 24 in the basketball game. Still plenty of time left. The Mustangs are still within shooting range of getting themselves back into this contest. But, boy, that makes it that much harder as Kyrie Smith pours in his 20th. 77-70. Cox, big if it goes. He misses. Loose ball taken and poked away by Kelby Saunders. Nice, easy layup on the offensive end. And that puts the Builders up by three possessions in this contest, nine. Tyler able to knock it back down to only two possessions with that three. Builder lead now down to six. Big possession upcoming for the Builders. Can they keep the scoring pace up? And they can. Kelby Saunders just calmly created enough airspace between him and the defender and was able to rise up and hit a hard two-point shot and that makes it now still a three-point possession as that kick to the corner. That basket goes down. Talik Totten, who hasn't really been that, 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 you know, active scoring, has now just poured in 10. We're now down to two minutes. Basketball game starting to get short, so every possession is going to be important for both teams. Good shots need to happen for both teams. Nearly a turnover there, shot blocked by Keys. Keys starting the fast break. Has this pass picked off by Kyrie Smith. Wall, if that goes, that is big, and it doesn't. Mustangs nearly turn it over on the fast break. Long kick pass into the corner for three. No good. Means on the fast break opportunity. Shot goes up, he's fouled. Shot does not go down, but the clock is stopped. So 124 remaining. Donovan Means will go to the line to shoot two on the heels of the foul by Elijah Cox. He now has four. That is the team's sixth. So Donovan Means gets an opportunity to add to an already five-point lead for the Builders. So depending on what happens on this next possession for the Mustangs, you can look for them to start to play the foul game here really, really soon. Because right now they find themselves down by six, still just a two possession basketball game. If Means is able to hit this free throw, it puts the Builders up by three possessions with only a minute 24 left, still stays at two. So right now, depending on what the Mustangs are able to do with this possession, that will determine what they do defensively as that one by Cox is no good. Loose ball comes off to Keys. Here's Cox, shot up off the glass, good for two. 2.2 2 possession ball game with a minute two remaining. Builders up by four. So that timeout is gonna be a 30 second timeout. We'll stay here. Right now, Builders with two timeouts, Mustangs with one. So this upcoming possession here is going to be huge for the Builders. Builders right now with a four-point lead, two-possession basketball game. If the Builders score, then, of course, you'll see the Mustangs try to get down court and score as quickly as they possibly can. Now, I don't know what Coach Sims is going to tell his team, but if there's a, if there's a way for them to score a fast two points, I mean inbound, take the basketball down there, no pass, and get straight to the rack. If you can get a foul, then that's all the better.
But if you can get to the basket for an easy two, you take it, and on the inbound, we start fouling. Why? Because right now, as a team, the Builders are only shooting about 62% as a team from the free throw line. So if Coach Sims is able to get a fast two on this possession, they're going to look to play defense first to try to see if they can force a turnover, and if they can't, they may start fouling. Here's Hunter. So a light press on defense as they continue to see the clock tick down. We're now under a minute. Wall, again, clock ticking. They have to stop him here on defense. And they do just that. And not only do they do that, the builders foul. So with 34.6 seconds, that's going to give Noah Richardson Keys an opportunity to score the basketball off of the foul from Xavier Hunter, which is his first. But boy, that gives the Mustangs an opportunity to do what you don't want. Coach Evan Key doesn't want to see happen. And that's give the other team an opportunity to score the basketball while the clock is stopped. So if Keys, as Clifton Good is coming onto the floor, if Keys is able to hit both of these, it's now a one position ball game with 34.6 seconds. So of course, Carl, Coach Sims is gonna want his team to try to play defense, try to force a turnover. If they can't, they may foul. But it, all, it, it is all predicated on what Keys does at the free throw line. And he has ice water in his veins on that first one. Even if he misses this one, it is still a one possession basketball game and he makes the second. So it's one possession ball game, 82-80. Saunders. Ball is gonna be kicked. The clock stops at 29.4 seconds and Coach Key is gonna take a timeout. So that's gonna leave the builders now with only one timeout. And that's gonna be a full timeout. So tell you what, let's take a quick break. This will probably be our last break of the game. 29.4 seconds left. Builders with a two-point lead. Do not go anywhere. This game is not over. We'll be back. How much you earn has a lot to do with how much you learn. That's why Bayport Credit Union is again investing in your continued education. Through our Bayport Foundation, we're giving $100,000 in tuition assistance to area high school seniors, college students, and working adults attending a university, trade, or vocational school. Everyone deserves to be happy, healthy, and financially wise. Visit BaytportCU.org to learn more. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Timeout was just taken by Coach Evan Key and, of course, wanting to get his team over to talk strategy. It is going to be Builder Basketball. 29.4 seconds left on the game clock. 25 seconds left on the shot clock. So, Builders cannot try to run out the clock. The inbound goes to Adrian Wall. Wall unable to hit. Late whistle. Late whistle. So that is going to go actually on Joshua Tyler. That'll be his third. So that's going to send Adrian Wall to the line to shoot two. And Adrian Wall is one of our better free throw shooters. So he has an opportunity to put the builders up by two possessions if he's able to sink them both. And he misses the first. Pull the string on it. So I think, I think the confusion is, is he shooting the one and one or is he shooting the two? Now he should be shooting two, 
because he was actually, I believe, fouled in the act of shooting. So it's going to be two shots because Adrian Wall was fouled in the act of shooting, but everyone was confused thinking it was the one and one. So they're going to set the uh, game clock back to 20.1 seconds, which is where it was before the first miss on the front end of the one and one by Adrian Wall. So whether Adrian Wall hits this first or second, it is a one-possession ball game. If he hits this one, Coach Sims may take his time out. He's going to take a timeout, I think, and he takes a timeout. So what he's going to do is his team is down by three. So strategy-wise, he has a decision to make. Is he going to put in a surefire play to get two and then foul, or is he going to run a play to get one of his shooters open for three so they can tie it on this possession? So it's going to be either or with 16.9 seconds to, 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 to play. Now, right now, his best bet is probably going to be Noah Richardson, who right now from three, Noah Richardson is two for two in the game. Joshua Tyler is two for four. So it's going to be one of those two guys he's going to want to try to free up for a three-point shot to try and tie this if that is where they want to go. Otherwise, they're going to try to get a fast two and foul. Yeah, but I think it's Totten that is deadly from that left corner. Now, Totten right now, he's only one of two uh, in the contest with about 10 points. He's been so quiet. So you're right. He's one of those guys you really, really have to be uh, looking out for, and he is on the floor. Now, we know that Joshua Tyler's spot is right where everybody is lined up for three. That is his sweet spot on the floor. So they run the screen. Right now, with the amount of clock they're running, they're going to have to shoot a three. They get Richardson Keys open for a three. He misses it. Kelby Saunders clears the rebound. There's a foul. So they're going to put a couple of seconds back on the clock. They called a foul. So they're going to put 2.6 back on the game clock, and they're going to walk all the way down to the other end, and Kelby Saunders is going to shoot. Now, Kelby Saunders was not fouled in the act of shooting, nor are the Mustangs in the bonus. They are. Well, they're the bonus. They're not in the double bonus. I'm sorry. Correct. They are in the bonus. They're not in the double bonus. So... If Saunders misses that one, this one, they have 2.6 seconds to try to get a shot off from somewhere. Yeah, but KJ's got ice water, so he's going to make it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. That makes it a two-possession ball game, and, folks, that's pretty much it. I told you. Yeah, you did. You did. I got to admit. You told me. So essentially, that's going to salt the basketball game away right now. So whether Saunders makes it or misses it, it doesn't matter. There's not enough time for the Mustangs to get two baskets. And that is the second one. And the Builders are going to continue their win streak against the Mustangs. And the Builders were moved to 13-0 and here at home at the Apprentice School Athletic Center with an 85-80 to victory over the visiting Mustangs out of Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Coach Charles Sims and the Mustangs. Fantastic basketball games. Boy, I tell you, both of these teams filled it up on the scoreboard as the leading scorer for the Builders in, in tonight's contest is going to be Kyrie Smith. He's going to get out of here with 20 points on the night. Coach Evan Key, his team picks up their 19th win on the season, and they will more than likely remain on top of the rankings in USCAA Division I basketball. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fun night. Thank you for joining us for this doubleheader as the apprentice school ladies and men get out of here with victory. So for Dave Davenport, Dave Davenport, I am Howard McCain. We're going to say good night. We'll see you next time. But remember, until then, ladies and gentlemen, this is Builder Basketball.